Hi guys, just had a suggestion from System Skynet. He wants me to dunk one of my mini grandads in the acetone. Well, not a lot will happen because this is PLA and acetone doesn't do much to PLA. It might leach the colour out of it. We might end up with a, a white grandad instead of a black one. It's got a little tail on it, that one. So, yeah, we'll put him in there and leave him for a few days. I don't think much much is going to happen to him, other than his colour change. So there you go. I'll leave that to stand for a few days and we'll come back and have a look. Good morning guys. This is an update video for Frankie. A few weeks or may even have been months ago now. I'll put a date up here somewhere and a link. I did a video showing uh, putting PLA into acetone. Because I'd had a question about whether acetone dissolved PLA. Well, the answer is no, it doesn't. Um, I put some, I think, it, I think it was pink PLA I put in, something like this. But it was just a bit of scrap. And all that happened to it was the colour was washed out. Uh, the actual PLA itself was still the same as it always was, as far as I could tell. Um, it hadn't melted or anything like that. So Frankie said, how about putting one of my granddads in there? And I think he meant one of these, but I use these. So I don't want to damage them. So I put one of my other granddads in there. Which are little black ones, as it happens. And I think you can see absolutely nothing has happened to it. It hasn't lost any of the black pigment. And it's still the same as it was. Um, hang on, I've got one laying over here somewhere. Right, there's one untreated one and that's the one that's been in there for ages. I'm just checking, yeah, it might have softened up a little bit but then PLA absorbs moisture. Yeah, he's softened but I think I'd have had the same effect if I'd have put um, put it in water for a long time. I suppose that's the next test, isn't it? So that's one that hasn't been treated. That's one that has been treated and he's definitely a bit soft. But to be uh, safe, I'd have to put one in plain water and see if that one went soft as well. He may even stiffen up when he's uh, dried out. <laughs> he's lost a bit of colour though, hasn't he? Same as the, the pink had lost the colour. I might um, stop the video now and come back later and see if he's stiffened up again when the moisture's evaporated out of him. And I guess what I ought to do is put one of these in plain water and see what happens to that. So there's some plain water. We'll pop that one in there. Ah, now there's an interesting thing. He's not... Oh, he is now. I was say he was floating on top. That's just the surface tension. Right, that's gone to the bottom. So we'll leave that one for... Probably a couple of weeks, I should think it was, and see what happens to that. That one is stiffening up now that the acetone or the liquid's evaporating out of him. And he has lost a bit of colour. Hi guys. This video's really for Frankie. 
or not Frankie, because that's my drawing, not his. Um, he asked what would happen if I put one of my granddad logos, the PLA prints, in acetone, which I did, and left it in there for a week or so, took it out, and it's lost a bit of colour, he's gone a bit grey, and initially he was quite soft and flexible. Now that was about a week ago I did that. Since then, this has dried out and it's back to more or less its original state. And I thought, what would happen if I just put one in water? So this is just ordinary water, or tap water, nothing special. So this one's been in there for a week. No obvious change whatsoever. I did think it might go a little bit soft. But that's the same as that one. So apart from that one going a bit grey, losing its colour in the acetone, it's really no different. It didn't melt. And this one, despite having been in water for a week, is just the same as it was when I put it in there. So I did think it might go a little bit soft, but no, that's just the same as it was when we started. So water, no effect. Acetone takes the colour out of it, and it did initially make it a little bit soft and flexible. But now that the acetone's evaporated, that's gone back to the way it was. So there you go. Thanks for the question, Frankie. Thanks for watching. There's always more information down in the video description. And if you like this video, you might like this one up here. And you might like to have a look at my channel over here. See what else I do. Thank you for watching.